What's up to all the million dollars worth of game yes. listeners out there? If it's million dollars worth of game you're watching, if it's Gilly on Sports you're watching, if it's Adventures you're watching, if it's Where's Wallow we're watching, no matter what you're watching on right. Million Dollars Worth of Game do Network, these three things. what you need to do, you need to like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, share. Matter of fact, four. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Mm. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Right. I'm talking about share with all your friends, but you gotta subscribe so you get the notification. We have a lot of big things coming. No, we got the biggest. The biggest things coming. I'm telling you stuff. You and you want to be able to get notifications. What you need to do is subscribe. Also, check out the merch. We got merch all going on. Hit the link. Check out the merch. Buy a ticket to the. There's a lot of stuff going on. Me and I was Gilly the game Fest. universe. Gilly Fest is coming. It's coming. Gilly Fest Part Two. I'm telling you, it's just like that. Right. Yeah. You know who in the building? You know the, in the building. biggest. You know it. You, you know who in the, the biggest. You know who's in the building, man. Listen, man. Ski. Hey, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> fed it up when she came to Gilly Fest. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. She that up when she came they to Gilly Fest. They made me mad, just standing there. No, it's cool. No, they, they was like, high, but they had never heard that one before, I don't For think. Real? One of the songs you did it then, they had never heard it, so they was trying to listen to it. And they, my people was like, they was tired because they was there all night waiting. Yeah, yeah but listen, man. Y'all now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. Yes. We got Big Sexy up here. You know it's yes. going down. Y'all know what it is. Yes. St. Louis in the building, man. You know yes. it. Period. Listen, man. In the get, building. I want to ask her a question. Do the dreads heads really do it the best? Because my wife, she disagreed. <laughs> she said the ball head. Yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> I, heard, I heard the ball head do it the best too. Oh, you just never had one. <laughs> mm -mm, never had one. They be, they be always saying, what about the fades and ball heads and stuff? Yeah. I guess all these niggas know what they doing. Did you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever think you was going to be here today, like on a, on a, the level you on in the game. Did you think coming about a St. Louis, you said, I'm gonna turn it up and I'm gonna be that? Yeah. I knew it because I'd be like, when I manifest stuff, it be coming true. And I'm like, I just can't wait for the world to see. Like, and they see now. Yeah, before before this music thing, they said you was out there, St. Louis, doing your thing. You was hustling, doing your, what, what, what was life like for you then? Like, um, I was doing her. I was doing a lot of her. I just was on my shit. And then at one point I fell off a little bit. You know how people had a moment where they just be like, not in it for real, like not that motivated. And then that's when I started rapping and then I got back up there. Who 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 really put you on the rap? Um, like to start rapping? Yeah. I started rapping because my baby daddy. I knew she was gonna yeah. say that. Anything you ain't resort that. back to that. He's yeah. a hell of a yeah. Yeah. hell of a guy. What, who was his name? <laughs> Shut that guy. He's a hell of a name. Well, I just always he say, say, my baby oh, my daddy, because my baby daddy, he, yeah. my, he laid her down and sprayed her down. Yeah, he was spitting. <laughs> Listen, he was spitting. He was doing music himself? No. He, he was a cheater, and I made a diss song about him. Okay. And then I showed him the diss song. He like, damn, that motherfucker hard. So we'd be in the car pulling up on his friends. So he like, rap the song to them, show them your song. And then they was like, oh, you know how to rap. So that's when I just made a real song. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, life isn't going your way. Shot a New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your wife cheating today. Shot a New Amsterdam Vodka. The Philadelphia Eagles just lost today. Shot a New Amsterdam Vodka is still five times. It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. Now you can drink it straight up. You could drink it on the rocks, juice, soda, or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, don't you dare pass that New Amsterdam vodka. You scoop it up. You take it to that register. Boop, boop, boop. That was you getting three bottles because you, you don't want to keep having to go back. You guys might as well stock up right now so you could be happy. And you make sure you get you some of that New Amsterdam vodka. That's the official vodka of bar stool. And shout out to the New Amsterdam queen. Be whipping it up at the crib with the girlfriends, making the cocktails, doing their thing. New Amsterdam vodka. Get you some. And it was up after that. All started, it was up after that. All started because he was cracking some crab legs. Yeah, he was cracking some <laughs> crab legs. Over. Dip some extra crab he legs okay. and some butter. Yeah, she went is. right to the booth. Uh -huh. you, yeah. you ain't shit, my yeah. baby daddy. I was daddy. talking big shit. You was talking big shit. I was talking about the girl. I was talking big shit. Man, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't made her your op. She ain't even know, huh? She knew. She knew. Yep. She knew that was your baby daddy. It wasn't my baby daddy then. It was oh. my. And yeah, she knew about me. That, that bitch. I mm. hate that hoe. 
I mm. still hate her. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> how do you how do you deal with all the you know, we, we live in a time where I'm where's though. Sometimes a woman can't have a voice. How do you deal with all the criticism? You know, you're a woman, you're a girl, you're pregnant, you're trying to, you know, do you read this stuff? Do like, how do you feel about all the criticism from everybody that got something to say so much? I see everything and I just feel like, why is y'all so invested in other people's life? Like, that's lame to me. Like, let people live their life. Shouldn't nobody have nothing to say about the next person hustle or how they getting it, how they get it, like. They be pissing me off with that. But I see everything. They always got me in the blogs. They be in the comments talking about me. Even if it don't got nothing to do with me, my name get brought up somehow. I see it all. And you just be ducking and you like, F I don't care. I be nonchalant to the shit. Like, I see it, but it don't phase me. It don't make me want to go It don't make me sad. Like, damn, that's how they feel about me. Like, I don't be caring. Because they don't know me. So it don't like, I be like, they don't know me for real. They just talk. I feel like coming from that gutter, man, that shit. That should build you up to be super yeah. tough, man. Yeah, you for real. I like, have tough skin, man. Yeah, like, this ain't my first time hearing none of the shit y'all saying. So it's like, I don't, it don't faze me at all. Now, back in the day when we grew up, you know, because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people be acting like they all shocked about what's going on right now. And to me, I just be like, damn, people be tripping. It's like, you know, you hear a lot of older cats talk about the young boys all the time. Uh -huh. You hear a lot of older women talking about the young girls yeah. all the time. Like, oh, my life was perfect. We wasn't like that. Uh -huh. We was doing dumb shit when That's we was right. young. Right. The young niggas doing dumb shit. It's the same. Right. We can't try to measure it and say, oh, your dumb shit is worse than my dumb shit, but we was doing dumb shit. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's uh, stupid to we, me. The same people that might criticize and say stuff, they was the same ones popping their ass in the club listening to Luke. Shout out to Luke Campbell. Shout out to Two Live Crew because they went Trina. to court. They were, yeah, that, but I'm talking about before her. Shout yeah. out to Luke because Luke went to court. They was trying to lock him the fuck up. I remember that. Talking about women popping their coochie and popping it. You know, he, he really went through the whole system. He fought. Uh -huh. So people can have freedom of speech and they can rap whatever they want to rap. But it seemed like sometimes, you know, you'll see somebody in the comments, you'll be like, come on, Keisha, stop playing. You was popping that ass when we was in the club back right. in the day. <laughs> Right, you, you know you was right. a hoe. You, you keep trying to act like you wasn't. You right. probably now, still a hoe. Now, you know what I mean? You trying to act like you like you better than a motherfucker. You fucked the whole Eagles locker room. That's what I'm saying. He was that freak nick going crazy. They be killing me. <laughs> I be like, oh, they was that freak. I'm telling you. I'm like, I be sitting I'm like, hold up. Why you? Like, and then it's like, you know, it, but you know, but you the worst motherfucker in the world and they done, done everything. They lived That's out this I'm whole, saying. they lived out X-rated shit. So it's, it's just real crazy and critical about the world that we live in. Mm -hmm. And especially, I know sometimes it hurt when it comes from your own people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, Floyd Mayweather said something one time. He said, man, I got to the point. I was like, fuck it. Because it seemed like it's my own people just want to tear me down. Yeah. It ain't nobody else saying nothing. It's just us. Like, and, um, you know, it's like, it, it's good that you're strong enough to deal with that and go through especially all that Especially being shit. a woman in the game. Because yeah. uh, I'm going to keep it all way real. There's a lot of sensitive n****s in this game. Mm -hmm. These n****s be, these be so sensitive, yeah. You know that they call you and tell you like you, you mean you hurt my feelings. Yeah, they tell us that shit all the time. It's like, bro, I ain't even say nothing. I just said some regular <laughs> shit, man. What the <laughs> you mean I hurt your feelings, man? No, some but, stuff it'd be like if if it, like if I come across a motherfucker that I seen on the internet talk about me, it's like they try to speak to me. I'm like, I don't fuck with you. I seen what you had to say about me. Mm. Like it be shit like that, but if it's like I be seeing all kind of people talk, shit, I just remember their face and I just. I, you don't fuck with me, I ain't gonna fuck with you. Like that's how you feel. For me, it just be it be it be like this, right? Everything you getting right now, right? You ask for this, right? You pray for this, right? Yeah. You wanted the big change. You wanted the nice cars. You wanted to go everywhere, motherfuckers know you. Yeah. You wanted to be picking up them back ends that you picking up. You wanted all this, right? This would come with the game, too. Yeah, exactly. People talking about you, people yeah. criticizing you, people yeah. looking, everybody always watching. But this is what you prayed for. Mm -hmm. If you did this not what you wanted, why you ain't going to be a registered nurse? Yeah, that's true, too. You wouldn't have to worry about none of this shit. Yeah, you could have kept doing hair. Doing, you could have kept so doing hair. So, them so and a baby. So, you and know. I'm, I'm not necessarily talking to you. I'm talking to the in, game. In general. To the, this would come with this. Yeah. I got a different disrespect to me talking shit about me on my but social you media. Them, right? No, because absolutely, I know they coochie buttons. Right. They really bitches. Right. Because if you wake up and you decide that you going to disrespect a n that you don't know, that you never met, right. that you ain't got no issues with, right. you a coochie button. That's man. all I be saying. You a bitch, man. For real. And a lot of times this we live in shit, Especially we, when niggas talk about yeah. me, I be like, you was a whole n 
What do? Why do you got an opinion on what? Why I'm in your? Why my name in your mouth? Yeah, you a whole man. To me, like. You a whole grown man. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's like I always tell them. I'm gonna tell you this. Hey, this is your marketing team. Let them work. Cause they gonna rap and they gonna talk. They marketing you, rapper. We we don't look at it like uh -huh. that. But these motherfuckers marketing you, and you gotta also see, we live in a time now where everybody they they created this thing on social media where you could come up with beefing with a motherfucking celebrity that you don't even know and hoping they respond and tag you and say that's like oh man she, they said something about me. Yo, they they, think they lit. I'm lit. I'm on. Yeah. They responded. Uh -huh. Everybody out here cloud chasing and trying to get popular. I'm talking about yeah. from eight to eighty. Everybody want to be popular. Everybody, everybody. Get posted. Exactly. Hey, yeah, Real my talk. kids to grandmas. Yeah, you ain't Real grandmas out here doing dumb. Shit. I didn't see people grandies talking about like, me. Grandma, go to in there and make some cornbread, man. Some or some, right. uh, yeah. some vegetarian stuff like for me. Like you somebody granny. What you got a granny. You, you got a granny. What's the granny that got a body done? She walk around. She showing her ass yeah, on the grand, man. Your baby. There's they, a whole lot of grannies. They, like they, they they seventy five year old buns, baby. Yeah, them uh. joints worked out. <laughs> them buns worked the fuck out, mama. Damn, baby. They, <laughs> they look good though. They them, look them, good. Them, them buns was taking. Dick. Back in in in, in seventy one, right? I was just yeah, you that. still selling selling them buns? Clowning. So everybody want attention. Everybody's trying to grab some attention. Everybody think they got a shot. Even my that never had a shot ever, bro. You just ain't got that it factor. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you got that it factor. No, you don't. You wasting time out yeah, here. Go do be, something that's beneficial to it's you. Is what they be doing. On a, on a whole nother level, it, and it's, it's like lame. with our people, it's sad because. Build you up to teach. Motherfucker love you when you're down in St. Louis and you're struggling to come up and you, uh -huh. your song popping a little bit. This radio station playing it, this one playing it. It's getting played in Atlanta. Damn, yeah, that's my girl. That shit start to lift. You take care of your family. You jumping on a motherfucking jet. I start hating. You're going from city to city. You got three shows in a day. You going from D.C. to Atlanta to motherfucking Texas that's in one day. You picking the back hands up. And you nigga J1s was like, oh, we gonna get there right at this time. Cause we gotta go to DC. She coming from here and then we flying into there. Flying from DC to Africa. She got a show in Nigeria. <laughs> like, I'm like, God damn, in one day, God damn, get in here, man. It still be so, like that for so me. That's what, so, so what I'm saying is like, no, nah, we don't fuck with her. We fuck with the struggling one that, that might don't yeah. make it. We and, and then you got the just in case, motherfuckers. Let me fuck with her just in case. I really don't fuck with her. <laughs> yeah. But just in case she pop, let me fuck with her. Oh, God. I'm trying so, to be on that tour bus. I'm trying to be on that jet. Yeah. I'm trying to be. Yeah, they be just trying to get in, and then I sometimes I act like I don't even see it, cause then I don't want to even give you that attention. Like, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, you hurt. I don't want them to think you hurt my feelings or nothing. I'm gonna act like I ain't even see this. Shit. Like, I'm not gonna show you no type of attention, cause this one you want me to see it and say something. So I'm not even gonna respond. I see that you even got support from sisters in the game. How the sisters in the game supported you? How do you feel to get the support from people you probably looked at? When you was trying to come up out of St. Louis, it feel nice. That's how it's supposed to be. Like we all supposed to be supporting each other. We all black. Like I feel like do that to the other races. Tear yeah. them down. We all supposed to be bringing each other up. They already tear us down. Why we all can't just come together? You know, this our culture. We all crazy. We all got different little crazy personalities. So when they be trying to down talk me, I just I don't know. But for the ones that do fuck me, I be like right because that's how it's supposed to be anyway. Who's some of the realest motherfuckers you met though that you came across? You just was like damn. They super, super solid. Just You could just tell that they just genuine. It ain't no fake shit with them. Because see, you from the hood. So yeah. one thing's for sure, two things for sure. You see through all the bullshit. Uh -huh. you feel I met 2 chains. I fucked with 2 chains. He okay. was a cool person. I was just sitting there talking to him. I'm like, he actually really cool. Like Some of these people, like, yeah, they be really from the hood. You could tell they come from the same shit you come from. They be really just cool. They don't even be on no celebrity shit. Like, right. Yeah, he was... He was real cool when I met him. But I met a lot of people that fuck with me. Yeah. And I but I know the ones that, man, they just fuck with me because I'm turned right now. Yeah. Turned and up. I know the ones that's okay, yeah. they come from what I come from. They understand me for real, for real. Like right. I fuck with them. Yeah. Right. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Ship Station. The holidays are the busiest time of the year. Don't get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Let Ship Station do the heavy lifting. So you and your team could put your time, money, and energy into something important, some other important things. Plus, when it comes to the inevitable holiday return, ShipStation automates, recommends, exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or color, they'll still have a great experience. You can quickly and easy update crucial order information and reduce errors. Effortlessly integration 
everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, SD, eBay, Shopify, and more. ShipStation manages orders, print labels, compares rate, optimizes every shipment, and automates delivery notification. ShipStation's robust automation and report makes scaling easy. And as your business grows, you can save thousands on shipping costs. Get discounts up to 84% off UPS and UPS rates. Let your customers shop risk-free this holiday with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use the code GAME. That's ShipStation.com. Use the code GAME today to sign up for free. Get a 60-day tr free trial. That's 60 a free 60-day trial. All you got to do is go to ShipStation right now, use the code GAME, and get a free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation. Code GAME. Go and do it. What's up, everybody? Happy holidays. Perfect for the holiday Sprite. Winter Spice Cranberry. I'm mm. telling you, listen, man. This right here, jeez. This I'm talking about. This is just perfect. I'm talking about perfect for the... Great tasting. Mm. I'm talking about the new Winter Spice Cranberry. Watch this. Perfect, man. I'm talking about great for your holidays. You're going to be getting together. Something new. I'm talking about this. Listen, this <sighs> Winter Spiced Cranberry. I'm talking about this spiced. This right here, mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Break dancing, right? Mm. Let me get one more. I got mine. You better get you some. Sprite. Winter Spice Cranberry. Winter Spice Cranberry. Mm -hmm. Winter Spice Cranberry. Winter Spice Cranberry. Head over to Sprite.com so you can see where you can pick up some Sprite Winter Spice Cranberry. Right now, what you waiting for? Come on, we waiting for you. Go get yours. We got ours. Because I'm going to keep it all the way real. A part of you winning is your authenticity. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Relatable. People love to see. See, this is this is the process in the ghetto. When you coming up and you struggling, people love to see you come up. Yeah. Oh, they love to see you. They love to see you go from nothing to something. Yeah, okay. But then when you get to something... They love to cheer your ass back down to I the know, bottom. Right? Oh, they think they better than us. What the fuck you mean? They just got some money now. They ain't still the same person. Yeah, exactly. So that's just the ways of the ghetto. Where country music, they cheer you to the top, and then they your motherfucking fans for all the way. For all the way. Motherfucking roll with you. They be right there. They uh -huh. 82, you 82. They right at your house. Yeah. Sing on down the line. <laughs> Because honey, is it time to go? You my, buddy. You feel That's what I'm true saying? though. A motherfucker will love you this year in hip hop. Yeah. And next year be talking about that bitch. I don't exactly. with that bitch like the way what, you saying that like it's something personal. You don't even know that bitch. What she did to exactly. you. Like, I see she, them doing a lot of artists like that. And they be telling me like, your time coming red. They, they all with you now. But wait till you get late in your career. Because I, I ain't even going to name people I see them doing it to. They just be bringing all the female rappers down. And I guess since I came up, now they want to be on my bandwagon. But as soon as the next bitch come in the game, y'all going to be saying, sexy red. Yeah. I already know how this shit go. And you know what's, what's crazy about it? A lot of people be capping. They just be online. And one thing I learned about, if, you know, everybody say we love sexy red today, they going, oh, yeah, we love. They say fuck it tomorrow. Everybody just, because people don't know which way to go. Because right. Uh -huh. right, right now we got an un, a unloyal and other dedicated fan base. Whereas though, is you got people that might fuck with you just because you hot. They don't fuck with you because they like, I'm, I love this bitch yeah, to she's death. Like, yeah. like they gonna be, because if you look at it, and then you see people that be c complaining and talking all this shit, I'm like, y'all capping. Cause I didn't see, I done been in corporate events with all with all them corporate girls, college educated chicks that's working for YouTube and, and, and Twitter and this company and, and Google and Facebook, all this stuff at black tech events. And they and they go the fuck crazy when your yeah. song come on. Right. They snap out. <laughs> right. All these chicks with degrees and all sophisticated. Yeah. I'm better, the, 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 the better than you chicks. I ain't, yeah. I, I'm, mm, mm. No, that's, no, come on, they be shaking their ass. Course. I'm like, go, ahead, go off, go off. I, I do that. Go off, baby. Look at it. I'll be like, yeah, I see you. Go ahead, go the fuck off. You talk one of my songs or something? Yeah. yeah. I do that to people. It bring, it bring, see, what I like about it is I bring that, that out of them. I done been in a For situation, sure. I think the time I called you, and I was in this, in this, at this, at this event, this shit came on, and I was happy because I seen a real side of him. I'm like, yeah, go off, baby. I see. Yeah. Shake that ass. Because they was in there. He was in there, out. too. Shake that ass. They, they was, was screaming. Oh, they was screaming, shake that ass slow. He was in there. No, get the fuck out of here. Shaking it up, yeah. I was in there, and I was like, yeah, okay. 
Hey, they, no, because they brung the real out of them. Yeah. Oh, y'all trying to get smashed tonight. All right, let's get crazy. Uh-uh. Let's get, no, because they but snapped. That, all you think about some pussy, right. they snapped right. out. Right. I'm just saying, they snapped out. I'm trying to get smashed. What? Now I'm like, okay. Oh, I, you know, it was nice night. But see, the fake sophisticated chicks would be the ones. Oh, man. They love this they sit around, they be at the barbecue. You know, crazy. Like, yeah, I don't really f with, but then they be out as soon as they get their look in and the music come uh, on now. Okay. Yeah. You, you yeah, forgot you said you ain't f with it at the cookout. Bam, got you. Got you. Look at you, forgot what you said at the cookout. Now, now you got your hands on your knees, huh? Uh-huh. Huh? Be like that. <laughs> so, do you. I bring, I'm telling you, I bring that out of people. Like, yes, you do. You brought it out of him. <laughs> the fuck out of him. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you right like, out of him. Yeah, I know how they be trying to say summer, summer walker shy and yeah. stuff. But when she get around me, all that's out the window. Like, and she even said it, cause we'll be around our friends, and these the same group of friends she done hung out with when I wasn't around. They like, bitch, how come every time Red come around, you wanna turn up? But when you with us, you out and act. Cause you make people comfortable because yeah. you authentic. You you. If I go around the way, I'ma see you in a every hood in America, I'ma see you. Yeah. And believe it or not, a lot that's of people. That's what they be trying to say. A lot of people <laughs> try to tear it down, but one thing about you, sexy, a piercing to say this, so many women can live through you. They be on your page and they live through you because the shit they might want to do, they're afraid to do, and they're shit afraid they to might be themselves. Say. So they looking yeah. at you. They looking at you like, damn, I'm going to a show and turn up because I really mess with her because I live through her, but I'm afraid to be her. I don't want to be judged. I don't want people. She got enough heart to be judged. So you they superwoman in, in that way. Fuck with everybody saying. Because right. right. at the end of the day, it's 8 billion people on the planet. Some people won't fuck with you and some people ain't. Exactly. But at the end of the day, the people that don't fuck with you, I don't see you at the beginning of the month when I got to pay all my family and all my friends' bills. Right. Where the fuck is y'all at then? Yeah. So a lot of times that shit don't even matter. It uh, don't matter. You know what I mean? This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by Tableau TV. Tableau TV, the new way to watch and record TV for free, including live sports like football, basketball, hockey, and more. Get 70 plus channels and some of the most popular broadcast networks like NBC, ABC, CBS, and more. Never miss a game. Tableau allows you to record up to 50 hours of content, and you can pause and rewind so you never miss a play. Pay once, watch forever. Pay once, watch forever. Pay once, watch forever. Buy a Tableau device and enjoy watching TV for free. No subscriptions, no contracts, no fees. Easy setup, just connect the Tableau and the antenna and your home's Wi-Fi, and you can watch on any smart device, TV, tablet, phone, anywhere in your home. Go to TableauTV.com to learn more. Pay once, watch for free. TableauTV.com. Right. This episode of Me and Oz Worth a Game is brought to you by Factor. This bustling holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, flavorful meals to fuel you on jam-packed days. Factor America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service can help you eat well for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietarian-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time on track with your healthy lifestyle with tackling all your holidays to-dos. Cross meal prepping off your list with holiday season with Factor. Skip the meal planning, grocery shopping, chopping, prepping, and cleaning up and get factored fresh, never frozen meals delivered to your door. Treat yourself to a high quality, delicious meal over the holidays. Choose from 35 plus, that's 35 plus, chef crafted meals every week that support a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. Whether it's a calorie smart, vegan, a veggie, protein plus, and more wholesome options. Factor isn't just for dinner. Count on extra convenience any time of the day with assortment of 55-plus add-ons, suit various preferences and taste. Choose from a quick breakfast item, lunch-to-go, grab-to-go snacks, and ready-to-drink cold-pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. This December, get Factor and enjoy eating well without hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh Flavored pack meals delivered to your door. Head over to factormeals.com slash dollars50. Use the code dollars50 to get 50% off. That's dollars50 at Factor Meals to get 50% off today. Go hit them up. It don't matter. Don't. See, let me just tell you something. They love that raw, authentic shit. Yeah. You know how many times he know. 
You know how many times I do a post on my gram where I'm just giving up some game mm -hmm. in the rawest form, and I get calls from these motherfuckers that's worth 50, 60, 100, 200, 300 million, and they talking about, man, I wish I could do that, man. But yeah. I, just, I wish I, wish I, could, I could say, say that, that man. Yeah. Boy, I love you, man. You just give it up so. Yeah. You can say that. Exactly. Freedom of speech. Be you yourself. wish you could be yourself. Exactly. You can't be yourself. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm always be myself. That's that's the only person I know how to be. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. You know when you meet Gilly, you know what you're getting. Exactly. It ain't you no, getting another ass. It, you gonna meet that, another ass cool when too. he meet you. That's right. cool, but right. you know what you get. But getting. you know that though. You know yeah, that. I know what that is. I'm like, yo, you said that like you, you agree with that shit. I'm saying, be yourself. Don't throw that out there, Red. You right, but you know what you get. But you knew that though. He's the nut ass. You know. Both of y'all is crazy. Oh, she tried to zoom. She threw it in. She did. Both of y'all nut ass. Real life. She tried to zoom. That was a nice way of saying it. We as a rap group, we be two nuts, no peace, huh? Yeah, that's what she's. My favorite video of y'all is when he was in the rain trying to be. He fucked my. Yo, you know what's crazy? No, 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 no. You know what's crazy? I was doing a video this morning. I'm in Philly. I'm doing a video, man. So this boy, this African brother come up. Hey, uh, I'm doing a video. I'm like, yo, man, pull over the car, man. I'm doing my video. Right. So he jump out the car. I get Ooh. to doing my, I had to restart my shit. I'm doing my video. Yeah, He over there. Yeah. He f***ed him up Listen, three times. I said, I said, yo, my man, chill, my man. So I do my job. Yeah, man. I'm, uh, uh, didn't I tell you with that dumb ass? Sit the f*** down. So I the, flag him. I said, come on, slap out. somebody. For real? You want me to work you out out here? I'm working right now. Right. You all with this hype ass <laughs> FaceTime and somebody. Didn't I tell you I'm working, man? I'm that fan shit. Sit your goofy ass down somewhere. Right. And I was like, damn, I had to it's catch respect. myself. No, I'm, it's respect. I had a flashback of when I was a young man. I didn't know what was going on. I was really, I was like, damn, I ain't, I ain't who I I'm like, cuz, was I tripping? But then no. I snapped because he fucked my whole money. He was no, I told him, dog, you ain't got that beat singer tripping. no more. That African nigga would have worked you out out there all on camera. <laughs> no, believe it or not. <laughs> it should take for done. to work you the fuck out to realize done. No, she no. was done. Oh, it's respect <laughs> thing, though. Like, we I human, too. We would have figured it out, but he wouldn't have he wouldn't, he wouldn't had a chance today. Oh, you would have figured him out? He wouldn't have had a chance in life. As soon as he had one upside your shit, you would have, hold on. The and the hospital was right there. He would have been cool. We ain't got I'm there. I'm chill. I'm break off, man. I was my people, man. Nah, fuck that. Nah, I'm my African brothers. We human too. It's respect thing. Like, but, I don't like when people approach me all crazy. Let me tell you something. Wild. You know when he get off chill parole, out. 2048, he ain't going back to jail for shit. You said when he get off who? Parole, parole 2048. Damn. He ain't like, going back to jail up. for nothing. Now, I'm a, we making some things happen, but I'm going to say this. That's fucked You up. were just ready to say something, right? Uh, what? about how people approach you. How did that feel with the people just think they can just come up to you anyway? I don't like that. Don't feel like you that comfortable to come up and talk to me like, I'm still a bitch off the streets. Like, you, this is not that. It's cool sometimes if you on some, hey, sexy, on some nice, I'd be like, okay, see, you see, that was cool. But when you running up to me all in my face, putting cameras in my face, you be like, bitch, how you know I, I'm not, wasn't just crying, I feel like, oh, they like, you got my face. Or when they be screaming, I don't like that. Like, I be too calm for somebody to be yelling all in my face. Like, I don't like that. Now that you're pregnant, you be eating a bunch of crazy shit. I been eating a lot of crazy shit, but I be eating, yeah. What you but be eating? I be just eating everything. Crazy shit. Give me some pickles with hot sauce. What the nah, fuck? Nah, that ain't crazy. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy to you. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't normally eat that crazy. shit. Yes, I would. You would? Is fried pickles crazy to you? No, I'm just saying. But uh, I'm just saying, what's, what, what you eating right now that you normally word? wouldn't eat? That right now you like, oh, I'll be craving for this shit. Nothing for real, cause everything I been eating, I'm just eating it way more. Like I been eating weird shit, cause I go somewhere else, they don't eat what we eat. But I been eating a lot of noodles lately. That ain't weird, what? but well, well, no, that ain't weird. Which one? Oodles and noodles, what flavor? Um, Look I like at beef him, all noodles. shit. Oh no, no, I eat the shrimp. You took, you took him right to jail. The Look at him. Chili you took him right green to green chili Look at Ooh, them joints be popping. But we got a little Chinese little restaurant where, you know, the Chinaman. And we be eating the um, duck noodles and stuff. Oh, you gonna be playing stuff like that? Oh, so you done stepped it up now? I mean, no, nah, that's I been eating it, but I'm oh. saying I just love noodles. Like it could be some spaghetti, fettuccine, whatever kind of noodle I eat it. When that sex tape dropped and you woke up, what you was thinking? I ain't wake up. I was woke. You was woke. Happened. Yeah, everybody was calling me, but I don't usually answer my phone. So I'm like, why is everybody calling me? Then I finally just answered, and then they said that I'm like, "What, bitch? You lying?" I was shocked. I was shocked. Was you mad? Hell yeah, I was mad. I was hot, like hot. You was hot. mad at the. Hell yeah, it was an accident, but nah, I was pissed. Like words can't even explain. Let's see how mad you was. You gave him some more though. No. Oh damn, that was the last time. No. 
But I ain't, I ain't <laughs> talked to him. Down. <laughs> no, I ain't talked to him a while after that. Like, I knew it was an accident because me and him was both just sitting there like. But I ain't talked to him after a while after that. And he like, man, you going to cut me off after the accident? Because we both was right there, so we know what happened. Yeah. But it was like, mm-mm, that's too much plan. Like, you messy, sloppy. Real. Yeah. But he was knocked out though. He was sleeping good too. I wasn't even sleep. <laughs> I wasn't sleep. You wasn't even sleep? No. It was still going on. Then that's when I'm like, okay, everybody steady calling me. Let me see what's going on. I finally answered and that's what happened. That's when I found out. Well, players fuck up too. Yeah. yeah. I ain't you know, mad no more. Happened. I was mad at first, but now I'm just like, fuck it. My page went up. Everything went up. All right now. <laughs> Who in the game? Them DMs one up too. <laughs> they was everybody. In, they was acting crazy in the DM. Who was that? How do you how do you manage that? Like with everybody because everybody trying to slide and slide their shot in. Yeah, everybody they still do it. Why I'm pregnant and everything? Are mm. oh, they trying to? No, but I, I heard back in the day they always used to say pregnant coochie is some of the best coochie out there, young man. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I don't know. They be on it. They be they be on your top, huh? They be on my top. But you ever see somebody that you be like, oh, okay. I, I, you know, I used to be crushing on you. You ever see a player be like, okay, player, you, uh-huh. I'm ready to push that, you know what I mean? Shoot that number at the motherfucker. You yeah, ever? Yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. It happened before. And I'm like, uh oh. Oh, shit. But I can't play like that. I'm too pregnant, so I'm not even. On that. <laughs> I can't. Y'all don't She's like, give bitch four more months. Hold on. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to holler at you there. Let me say this number screenshot. You stupid. They straight be on there, and I be shocked. They be, I be like, y'all do not give a fuck. Bitches can be pregnant. They don't care. They don't care. Well, Y'all the, know they don't care. Well, the women don't care nowadays. Yeah. Because I just seen, I just seen, a, what was they, they asked the question, if a guy was married and you, he never told you no, would you want him or would you want a, a regular husband who, who told you no? And all the girls was like, well, I'll take the married man who never tell you no. Bitches like, ain't shit. God damn. <laughs> That's why I don't believe in marriage now. That's stupid. You don't believe in getting married? I mean, I would, but I don't feel like that's going to solidify your spot. No, it don't solidify your spot because everybody... See, let me just tell you something. Marriage, to me, on some real shit, it, it, it's, it's cool. It's really for the woman because it's some bullshit. Because, mm-hmm. oh, you get married, then you wake up the next day. You, I feel exactly the same. Yeah. Nothing didn't change. Really? I feel uh, like it's a ceremony what's the, what's confessing the, your love. Yeah, what's the, what's the difference, though? Nothing. Yeah. All y'all doing is just going in front of people and just telling them, like, we really love each other. Right. You confessing your love. But nothing changes. No. Because they still are hardly going to cheat. Everything that they say for better or for worse, like, that should be fake to me. Well, well, only thing really changed that if if you, the partner that make the most money, mm-hmm. and the other partner leave you, if you cooked and booked out. Yeah. If you cooked. Yeah. That's I the part that changes. I'm signing prenups. Yeah. I ain't playing them games. You ain't signing no prenup with the was Look. You ain't Who? What you Let mean? me just tell you something. When a fuck the lev off you and leave the zippers on the bed, it pretty much be going his way. Mm, yeah. No. I'm not no sucker now. She said, I'm, she said. <laughs> I, I can't get a dollar out of me. I'm just playing. I don't play that though, for real. But is it? She said, keep it real, we real. It was a n- out here. Your baby daddy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh, that n- used to milk me. Oh, I couldn't stand him. It's every day. You could stand him because you still talk about this n- to the day, cause my baby daddy, cause you what? Man, my baby daddy, we that are, the most popular we, nigga on earth. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> don't nobody know what the nigga look like. Right, I don't want him to, but we extra cool. Yes, I f- with my baby daddy for sure. He still locked up. Mm. So how you feel that you you know you got about to have another baby daddy? Um, he is not happy about it, but he know we always gonna be cool, cause we wasn't together. Like my son three now. We ain't been together since my son was six months. But you couldn't tell him when he came home, he wasn't coming back home to Big nah, Sexy. Nah, he was always coming back to me. That's I, what I'm I saying. Cook. So now, he so coming now, over there chilling with us. Like, we still like a big family. So now, when he come home, what, what's going to happen? I don't know, man. Oh, know. shit. It's Jay, right. yeah, Jay, put some extra security around the house, man. <laughs> Why my team keep You got to understand, that? he loved you when you was just on the come up. Now you got it. Mm-hmm. You think he going to come home? He went in when you was. Trying to get it, you know the number one thing to do. Now he's gonna come home when you got it. You think he's gonna watch another I enjoy the fruits this. of your labor? I think about you know the number one. When he was the, the n- that ran you around the corners, one. go ahead and bust that rap. Yeah, go ahead and tell him that rap. You dis uh, me, drop me out to my shows. Listen, and let me explain something to you. The number one thing, saying jail, we all said it. 
I want my family back. <laughs> Did he ever tell you that on the phone? Like, I want my family back. Yeah, I feel like he thought we was going to get back together. I want their family back, man. He did some foul ass shit. He got dreads? Yeah. Damn, you really don't fuck around, huh? <laughs> 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 no, he did some fucked up ass shit to where that's what really broke us up because I done took my baby daddy back through everything. We been. What did he do this everything. last time? He cheated. Yeah, but it was worse. Like, you gonna cheat with a bitch I know. So that was the worst thing you could have did. Like, so say if you ain't know it, you would have forgiven. Yeah, I don't care. Like, I don't know this bitch. She don't owe me no loyalty. It was a bitch that I was cool with. Like, mm. in this bitch face every day. Mm. All that. And they was just behind my back sneaking the geeking the whole you, time. So they, was, they had tinted windows on the limo where they could look out and you couldn't look in. Type shit. And then I go to her, talk about him to her, and the whole time she fucking with my Pregnant. I'm pregnant. Uh, I was been, been, like, been with him for before the pregnancy all day, and she knew this. Then I got pregnant. They still was fucking around even after. So I'm just like, mm -mm, I can't, I can't forgive for that. And then we had recently got into it before he went to jail, which is how I got a new because at first I was just chilling. Like I was an at home mama not doing shit. My baby daddy still was coming to the house, spending the night with me and his son. But he had, um, I seen him and the girl in each other's lights. I'm like, so damn, y'all still talking. Like I didn't forget you. I'm like. If y'all don't tell me right now what's going on, we not, I'm not even going to be cool with you. Like, me and you, we not even going to be friends. And he ain't, ain't nobody going to lose me as my friend because I'm a good-ass person. So he like, yeah, man. We still was f***ing around. I'm like, all right. That's when I really started doing me. Like, you can't come to my house no more. I'm letting other, I'm letting my, I'm going to get a new nigga and he going to start coming over. And I cut all that shit short with him. And then he went to jail. Yes. Then he called home now. Up. He said, I'm sorry. I want my yeah. family back. I want my family back. He, we was supposed to got back together for real, for real. But I just you love that. Back. That's one thing I could see in your face. Yeah. You love. That I love my baby dad. You hear me? I don't let nobody talk about him. I get real defensive about him. Mm. They be like, you damn, y'all act like y'all still. I That's just, what I'm saying. You in a whole different. That's the problem. Because you, uh, how you in a whole different relationship if somebody talk about your baby dad, you rumbling. Because don't talk about my baby daddy. He ain't got nothing to do with this. The fuck? So like, your new. Like, I'm I'm playing, I'm taking care of this shit right now. <laughs> that nigga in fucking jail don't be talking about that nigga. You hold up, nigga. Don't, don't you talk about Ronnie, right. nigga. <laughs> That's still you. my son, daddy now. Talk about Ron, Ron. Chill out. Yeah, I don't play that. Don't you talk you, about Ron from the same so time? So y'all let Louis. somebody talk about y'all baby mama in front of y'all. I talk about the bitches. I'm dead. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> nah, I be like, chill Fragly out. motherfuckers. <laughs> You stupid. <laughs> now, <laughs> you ain't shit. Yo, he ain't. He better. He said, shit. right. Would you though? No, like, I ain't, no, I don't do that. I ain't got nah, no baby. Like, mind. He ain't got no baby mind. He got. He got well, a cap gun. No, well, I fuck nigga shooting here, blanks. I mean, that's the the father of my son. So I ain't gonna let nobody you harm him. Down. This my son, daddy. Like my son love his daddy. So I'm well, they just the, they just the mother of my kids and my motherfucking kids grown and shit now. Well, yeah, <clears> I, I still don't gotta deal with him. I deal with my kids. Right. Shout out. Shout out to your mom. She always holding you down with your son, man. Yes, yeah, that's do. gangster. Uh, Period. How is it being a you know how how do you handle motherhood now that you in the game and you big talk in the game? Uh, it be hard because I hate leaving my son. I get so sad when I gotta leave him, but I um bring him with me. But I still get sad like when I gotta go to work. He fights to stay with me. He be like I want to come with you, and I'm like you can't go to work with me. Or like when I got shows at night and I gotta drop him off to my mom. I hate it. Like I be damn near finna cry. I didn't cry a couple times like having to leave him because. He crying and I'm like, I start crying. I'm like, oh my god, mm -hmm. yeah, it be hard, but I guess it's gonna get easier down the line. Like when I'm able to sit down and not have to work so much. That okay. deluxe is out. Yeah. That deluxe is out. That deluxe is out. Yeah. What's, two, what's your favorite songs on the album? Um, me and Chief Keith's song "Get Out Princess." Well, that's right, because in Chief Keith, you was inspired by Chief Keith, right? I love Chief Keith. Ah. Yeah, Get Off Princess and um, Hold On, Yeah, and Bow, Bow, Bow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And why was them so special? Huh? Why are they so special to you? I don't know, because I freestyled on most of them songs. Like, yeah, them was some freestyles. All the freestyles be doing numbers. Like, Pound Town was a freestyle. Yeah. You just went first. in there, threw the beat on, and just went crazy. Yep. Yep. That was my first freestyle. They tried and to come for you, wicked. too. Who did? They tried to come for you to the internet. Why you say that? Talk about it wasn't pink in your booty hole, wasn't brown. And it is. And you like, how could you want to see the inside, stupid? <laughs> 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 
Cause that's like I said, savage. let them know, sexy. Y'all looking at the outside. That's stupid. That was like, stupid. I'm black as hell. Why the fuck would my outside of my coochie be pink? That, that Why would y'all even think that? It didn't even make no sense. That's disgusting. It didn't make no sense. I'm like, so y'all thought that my coochie was pink the whole time and I'm black as fuck. It didn't make black no sense. Than the motherfucker. But the way you came on that ghetto with shit and you you cleared it up. I was cracking the it's fuck up. It's common sense, though. I know. Ain't it common sense? But you was ghetto with shit. It's like, when you... <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck y'all think, babe? I don't sound like my fucking pussy. Right. Pain. The fuck? I'm like, y'all I'm don't like, get no ass, clearly. I love this motherfucker. You know, I love a motherfucker that's just... That don't give a fuck. Because yeah. you don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what nobody think. When your birthday? Why, why would I give a fuck about what you think? When your birthday? July 31st. What's your sign? Leo. Are you a Leo? You My motherfucking right. Leo. Yeah, she don't give a fuck either. Well, fuck what we give a fuck about because at the end of the day, how you think, your feelings, none of that shit you got going on over there, when I looked at my bank account this morning, it was the same. <laughs> it didn't fuck my bank account up so at all. it was all. the same. Mine went a, up. It, right. It actually, <laughs> I might have made some money on this interest. Right. Okay. From that money just sitting in there, nigga. Real so you think I'm worrying about what the fuck you talking about? I'm not. It don't make me or break it me. Don't. It don't. Literally. You feel me? So, you know, and a lot of motherfuckers sit around and when they look in the mirror, they not excited about the nigga they looking at. Mm -hmm. So they don't feel confident about themselves. So they. So that's why you able to go on another nigga's comment and write some crazy. I've never, ever wanted a nigga's comments on Instagram and wrote some crazy shit. I, I'm getting too much money, dude. I, got, I ain't got that, that type of time on my right. hands. Right. Why do you feel comfortable? I ain't even got that negative energy on me. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, a lot of times it'd be a bitch looking in the mirror and she not happy with the bitch she turned out to be. Mm -hmm. It's a nigga looking in the mirror, he not happy with the nigga he turned out to be. Like, if you don't like something, just keep scrolling. That's keep what on. I do. I just keep scrolling. I ain't going to take my time, write a paragraph. I hate this about them. I'm like, ugh. I'd be like, just But why keep the fuck scrolling. you follow me? They be following. I click you, on You hate page. something about me, but you follow a nigga. You know how easy it is to push unfucking follow, and I would never pop up on your timeline ever again. Exactly. They don't so, like to do that because they be newsy now. You work with yeah. a lot of uh, the biggest in the game. Who who, who else you want to work with? Musically. Um, I don't know. I want to work with whoever worked with me, cause now I don't know who really fuck with me. So if you reach out to me and let me know you fuck with me, then I'll be like, okay, I might fuck with you too, or I do fuck with you type shit. But I don't be just putting stuff out there because you never know if them people really fuck with you. Because sometimes they be undercover haters or they don't really fuck with you. So I just let people oh, come to me. Or sometimes they just want to ride your wave. Yeah. So I just let people come to me and see what the vibe be like. And then, if it, you know. Who's some people you fuck with in St. Louis that's on the come up? Because I know you, you be looking back and like, you know what I mean? Um, I like Blake Kiana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's some, we got some artists out there that be on the come up. I ain't, it ain't too many out there for real, but it's some out there, and I fuck with that shit. Like, yeah, St. Louis, we got some hard musicians out there for real. You, you got a name for the baby yet? I can't tell you, because then it's going to tell the gender. Better. Oh, so, so it's nobody a boy, know the gender? No. What you, what you betting it is? Uh, you, uh, you can bet. Uh, Me and you can bet. Is it a baby? Bet a thousand. Much, it's a boy. It's a girl. Bet. Bet a thousand. <laughs> uh, when it happened, just <laughs> give me my fucking money. It's I a boy, it. ain't it? No, she know. can't say nothing. She can't say nothing. Come on, you can let it be known right here. Little, little, I'm going to let y'all know after. Little so, Jeremiah. So one of y'all can win the money. It's a girl. But y'all can't say nothing. It's a girl. I'm telling you, it's a girl. Why you think it's a girl and why you think it's a boy? It's just a girl. Because, because I think because of your personality and who you is, God, God had to put a little nigga in your life. He ain't, <laughs> have my money in your you pocket, ain't, You ain't going to be having care. time to be there for the little girl right now. So God, like, I ain't going to do that too. I'm going to put a little nigga in her life. Lord, he's going to be cool. He got to play with the boys while she go out on the road. Yeah, it, it, it's a little boy. Oh, dear. What's his name? <laughs> What's it's a girl. Name? I'm telling you, it's a girl. Why do you think it's a girl? It's just, you know, it's, it, it, that's how it happened. It's a girl. And, and they, she and she gonna drive and it you crazy. On how, well, it depends <laughs> she on give you the business. It depends on Watch. what position you was having. She gonna when give you the business. Because if, if you do it missionary style, a lot of times it's a girl. Nigga, make sure you got cash. If too. you do it from the back, it'd be a boy or any other digital, style. I don't be want a boy. no digital money, oh, nigga. Yeah. Make sure you got cash in your pocket. I want my thousand, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you? I, I bet you. I I would bet my life to a suitcase full of shit. That when this podcast is over, she's gonna say, "Nah, I'm having a boy, little Jeremiah." Yeah, one of y'all right. We gonna yeah, one of us right. I'm gonna tell y'all after. I mean, 
<laughs> you don't want you don't want to present it right now. No, I ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna do people, it. That's that's what they want. People be wanting to be in my business. Yeah. I tell people I fuck with. Yeah, they gonna find time. out anyway in the body. They gonna find out later. When you when you do date. February. So, oh shit! Valentine's you, you Day, two months out. It's gonna be Valentine's Day. Watch. So they gonna find out in two months anyway. Yeah, they ain't gonna find out now though. That is a boy. They are. I just told them. They already no, know. Oh, we gonna see. We gonna see. <laughs> Little Jeremiah. We gonna see y'all. If it was a boy, what would you name him though? Mm. Why? Cause then that's how you gonna cat. know. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. You think you getting me? It ain't a boy. I'm telling he you. He think he getting no, me? It's I'm not just a boy, saying, nigga. If it was a boy, what a boy, would you nigga? name him? If it was a girl, what would you name him? I don't know. I wanna if I had a daughter, I would name her after me. If I had a boy, Shit, I would try it's to. It's a girl. She said if I had she a said, daughter. I would I would try. She said if it was a if it was a boy, I would try. Bang! No. Gotcha. Yeah, give my money, nigga. If it was a, a boy, boy, I would name her. Give my money, nigga. Oh, you're you're give stack. my money, nigga. Oh, you're stack. Cause you just said. Y'all did not let me finish. I said yeah. if it was a boy, I would name him after his daddy. If it's a girl, I want I would want her to be named after me. So what's her name gonna be? How you don't know if it's a girl or not? <laughs> All right. So what's your you like your middle name? No. Damn, she don't like that. So if you don't like your, because I love my name. I'm a nigga. Well, how are you gonna say you don't like your name and you gonna name your daughter? I just don't want people calling me that. But like, you gonna name your daughter that though? Yeah. Ah, oh, gotcha. I told you. I'm telling you. Man. I didn't say. She, she I, said it to you. If it was a boy, she oh, had the boy stack. lined up. She oh, said I would probably. She said I would probably oh, give my money. Stack, I didn't know oh, who the stack. daddy would be, so how, I, I said I would name him after his dad, and the daughter would be a junior. Like me. No, listen, listen. Dreadhead Junior. <laughs> listen, I, get my money, nigga. <laughs> Little Jimmy Y'all Dreadhead is crazy. Junior. Get my money, nigga. That's you know he, you know, you know I guarantee your son gonna be two. He's gonna definitely he gonna have a little joint. He's coming down. He's definitely My son a dreads. got dreads. He be yeah. shaking his dreads. Little man. Yeah, he be I'm talking about the new one. No, I'm just saying. Ooh, uh, a, you, 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 he can't. He's trying to get me. It's he think I'm crazy. We got it. Don't worry, we got it. I got you. Get my money, nigga. Players fucked about. Get my money. Get my money. I'm on cash, nigga. I don't own socks. Stop pointing to my pocket. No, no, no. I see that roll on you. I want my money. I want my money. It's in his pocket. I know you got a roll on you, nigga. Yeah, you see it. I know you got a roll to me. I keep some wham. You know what wham is. Walk well, around bam, money. Baby. You hear me? That WAM. I keep some walk around yeah. money, baby. You hear me? Now, now, you want to see my walk around money? Yeah. yeah we Pull it out. Where my purse is? Where oh, Lord. Mm. You you got go, she this? keeps go a wham. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, nigga came up. Now, hey, listen. <laughs> that nigga came up with a, a bag and some tissues. He said, you bitches going to be crying. <laughs> when she pulled this motherfucking God, walk around up. money out. Look at all. Oh. The Balenci. Look at it. She got Vaseline in there just yep. in case a bitch got to fight. Hold on. Yeah, let me put some what Vaseline on. This, this my walk around money. That is, oh, you got more than I'm that in there. I'm just playing. She got that wham, that wham skin in. Wait, why'd you got to? See, this one I'm talking about. She got the drug dealer dreams. Why she got this shit in the plastic bag in the bag? That's about... She got El Chapo dreams. What the fuck is this? This is all honey's right here. It's some more honey. That's all honey's. That's that, listen. That's can I, can I just listen in the back dirt. Can I just hold dirt. it? You just got it. <laughs> that's but, the bag. Why, she had why the Louis. fuck you got? Oh, she got two dollar bill. Man. Listen, yeah, you can get the two dollar bill. No, bill. keep that. Hold on. No, I got a lot of these. Me too. You want one too? Yeah, yeah give me one. I was passing these out anyway. Hold on. Period. It's, like it's good luck, they listen, said. This is how you know I'm not bullshitting, right? What? I'm going to show y'all how you know I'm not bullshitting. It's never coming out my wallet. Somebody got a pen. I'm going to get it assigned. this. Right? Period. This is how you know I'm not bullshitting. Look. Pen. This is how you know I'm not bullshitting. What's that? This already in my wallet. I gave Two you them. Of them. I gave you them. <laughs> this is how you know I'm not bullshitting. I gave you them. Now I got one from Red. Period. You got Big it. Red. I'm going to sign it. What the fuck wrong with I'm you? I'm going to sign it. Oh, yeah. You Yo, give me that. Uh, to me. Yeah, yeah for good luck. luck. Yeah. Get my thousand dollars, nigga. I'm petty. Why you think you won? Get my thousand. <laughs> he won. You, you think you, he won? Yeah, he won. Why you think so? Because you already said when I have a girl... I name it to me, but if if I had a boy, yep. what? So I did not it say was that. Kind of fucked you gave up. it up. They like, already know. You already Y'all gave it crazy. up. Y'all crazy. Y'all is crazy. Boy. New new sexy reds having a daughter. No, <laughs> y'all is messy, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, give me that bag right there. Give me that uh, Bottega bag, the green, green and black one. I got one for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? it's you know, Period. You know, cause, cause the first time she ever performed in Philly, guess who brought her? Period. Wallow and Gilly. Yep. 
And I've been wanting to go to Philly. Yeah. Been wanting to go. She came right out, turned that thing up, talked a little crazy at the end. but I know, but I did that because they made me mad just staring at me. They pissed me off. My thing was like, why would you say that? Yeah, she snapped. I had to tell her, I said, girl, don't say that. I said, come here, don't say that. I said, don't say that shit. Don't do that shit. She yeah. talking, all right, I'm sorry, y'all, but y'all fucking y'all lame. lame. Y'all I'm like, lame. damn, she, she doubled down on it. Yeah. I'm like, damn. <laughs> How she try to clean the shit up and then double down on it? Why don't, don't do that to the city. Right. city? Don't say that shit. She talking, all right, you right. Yeah, Philly, I'm, I'm sorry, but y'all is fucking lame. <laughs> like, damn, she doubled down. She doubled down. I got that $2 bill from Sexy. Yeah. Big Sexy, nigga, not the little one. It's sexy. Mm hmm. Period. Well, we're going to wrap this up. Make sure y'all go get the album. The deluxe is out. Make sure you download it, buy it, stream it. Do whatever you got to do. And shout out to your team. You got a hell of a team in here. Everybody in here working, too. Yeah, you know I mean, everybody in here working. You know what I mean? And sometimes they get overlooked. Sometimes you just see the superstar and you don't see the people behind the scenes. Yeah, shout out, shout out to my man Dave. Dave. You know, shout out man to Dave, the Dave, man, Dave been working on Dave. this for months. You gonna take his two dollars. Shout out to the security no, nigga. Oh. Shout out to the security <laughs> nigga over there with the Pooh Shiesty mask on like he 12. Yeah, I've never seen his face before. I've been fucking with nigga like he's 19 and shit. You know what I mean? He we know you put somebody down. He don't play. You know what I mean? But shout out to the whole team. This is yeah. Sexy Red. This is me and I was worth a game. The album is out. Go buy it. Go yeah. stream it. Go Period. TikTok it. The deluxe is out. What else go you buy What's, what other go companies you working on go right TikTok now? Go TikTok it. Products. You got any products? I got some lip gloss finna drop. And what else? Um, kid clothes. Okay, you got what's the, kid the what, What's this lip gloss called? Um, what is it called? Ghetto Ghetto Princess or something? Oh yeah, big sexy cosmetics. But the shit, you the know, all you know when a like motherfucker got too much shit going yeah. on. Yeah, I'm yeah. about to try. What's this shit called yeah, she, again? Yeah, she got it. <laughs> what's the name of the kid's clothing line? She said. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's Look, what this she called again, Wendy? She said, you know what she think about that fucking back end she got to go get the thing. Well, how much I got coming in tonight? <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> she don't know nothing else. Sexy, your lip gloss trap. I'm always that shit called again. Right, bro. I'm forgetting. My fucking back ends, boy. You love to go get them, motherfucker. They be mm -hmm. so, especially when they bring that bag out them up, all them hundreds. And... It's getting bigger and bigger, the man. The machine, they got the machine. <laughs> Yeah, I got a money counter now. My team had to buy me two money counters. Mm -hmm. two Back money. ends getting bigger and bigger, huh? Yeah. That people be killing me. They be like, you got that same bankroll. Oh, bitch, you thought. It's a fresh bankroll. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, goddamn. That was million dollars <laughs> worth of game. Period. That's sexy red. In, uh, St. Louis. Your favorite hood hottest princess. What was that, you? Your favorite hood hottest motherfucking princess, Northside shit. Period. Mm -hmm. No, we from North Side. Too. We from North Philly too. Fucking right, we from North Philly. Yeah, you North Philly. Fuck you thought we was from South Side. North, North, North yeah, Side. I mean. Period. It's going and down. It, yeah. And it's just like that. Right.